is going on you guys? We are here at Joe's Bait and Tackle. I'm here with Brad, the guy behind 4B Baits. He's going to tell us a little bit about how he got started and then we're going to cut into this video where we are throwing some awesome baits and catching some good fish on a bullworm. So, Like I said, I'm Brad with uh, 4B Baits. Um, I started 4B Baits about four years ago making crappie baits. Everybody asked me, hey, where, where, where do you get your name? Where's 4B Baits come from? Mm -hmm. Simply, my last name is Bright, and it's me, my wife, and two kids, so there's four of us. I had a farm for a little while that was 4B Farms, and really, really? when we started the bait company, it became 4B Baits. Originally, uh, I started making crappie baits. I was a distributor for uh, Southern Pro Tackle, and I would have customers ask for crazy colors and this and that, you know, that we didn't currently produce. So I would run it up the flagpole and always get told, nah, we, we make what we make, and that's what we make. So I bought some molds and, you know, started making baits on my own, and then an initial investment of about $700 and started making crappie baits. And you know, here I am today, you know, four years yep. into it and probably a little more than I should have invested into <laughs> it. Um, you know, making bass baits, crappie baits and everything. But uh, one thing I found out through the bait making and the fishing is that it was very therapeutic for me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a veteran, so I like to say we're a veteran owned company veteran owned and family ran mm -hmm. I, and i was diagnosed with ptsd so the bait making as well as the fishing is very therapeutic so that's the main reason reason i've continued with the company and that's really the backstory right there just that's awesome to, that's awesome you know guys you make some great baits great stuff um, i'm going to show you all this one bait here what we're throwing in the video today is the seven and a quarter inch trick worm and here it is, you guys. It's an awesome, awesome bait. We're throwing on a Carolina rig and a drop shot. So let's uh, cut into this video and uh, hope y'all enjoy. three pounder on the 4B straight tail worm. It's kind of like a bull worm, but uh, it has some different flakes and different features than a bull worm does. It's like my second cast on this thing. Not plastic. There's a lot of flake in it, especially when they're eating bait fish. This is a great green pumpkin color to throw. Good one, good one. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> About four and a half. Yeah, sitting on the bases of these big trees. And they're feeding on those bait fish. That is key. That's a good one right there. Yes, sir. Get a picture of this one. We'll get her back in the water. Good fish. Big, but boy, is running off with it. Cool. Fight so hard. That school is right in the bottom. I'm surprised they don't got mud on their tails.
next cast. Let's go. <laughs> Sitting in about 14 foot of water. There's a good group of them I found on side scan there. They ain't all that big. A couple of good ones down there. Same thing on that uh, 4B bullworm here. Good one. There we go. Yes, sir. It's a little hard spot off of a creek channel here. I'm working. They're all right on the bottom. Oh, yes, sir. Let's go. It's bullworms putting in work. Meatball right there, boys. Yes, sir. Good, healthy, two and change. All right, I found some fish pretty offshore here, about 25 foot of water, so we're gonna change this weight on a drop shot, see if they'll eat it. They're either a gigantic crappie or decent sized ones, I don't really know. They're on this brush pile. We ought to drop the old ball sack on him. What do y'all think? I'm thinking so. Just one little overhand knot, just to secure, you know. We'll take it on the old ball sack rig. Cool, dude. They're pretty loaded, boys. They're pretty loaded. Yep, what'd I say? What did I say? Oh, another small one. Loaded. Spotlock is here. A little bit better. Wow, that is a fat fish. Yeah, look at the belly on that one. Gagging on it. So fat. That's about a two pounder. Yep, yep. Another absolute brute. Butterball. Oh my gosh! Didn't even have time to pick it up! Good night. They're all little tiny dudes. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Leaping. These are fighting harder than the four and a half and high three we caught earlier. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try putting the bullworm, portion of the bullworm on the ball sack rig here. We're gonna take about this much off. Looks pretty good. Let me give her a shot. There we go. Good night at the boat. If 
fighting so hard. They all like two pounders or smaller. Gosh. Chunky. Come here, little brute. Oh, freaking healthy, healthy fish. <laughs>